Hey, what's going on guys? Lost with Custom Offsets. I stopped by SMG to meet up with CJ to ask him some questions. We're here at Lone Star Throwdown. Looks like you're having a blast out here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it's, it's a great time, it's a great Bo time. Boots packed, biggest yeah. show. Obviously after 2020, everyone just wanted to come out and just be in the environment and the show they're, scene. They're from everywhere right now, all up north, uh, east coast, west coast. Yeah. Just trying to have a good time without all the craziness from last year. Absolutely. We're going to sit down. We're going to ask him some questions. If you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, customoffsets.com. Let's get into it. All right, CJ, tell uh, our audience a little bit of who you are and what do you drive? Obviously, you got quite a bit, but what do you drive, who you are? CJ, I own uh, Scoops Marketing Group. Um, I manage builds um, all across the United States. I've got, I'm in Florida, all the way up to North Pole, Alaska. Um, I drive a, currently I drive a 2021 450. Um, I have a, well, my wife's 2020 250. I have a 67 Cadillac, uh, 95 old body soft board. Um, and I just purchased another old body soft board, dually. So obviously I have this thing for, for old body style. Yeah. Um, what else do I have? The 77 F250 that I'm building out in Florida right yeah. now with a uh, cash bread and RKB. Awesome. So I've got a few vehicles. Um, Scattered everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. yeah. It just proves that you eat, sleep, breathe this, you know, this lifestyle. I, so I it's it. super it. cool. So, all right. Now let's kick it back a little bit. A question that's not so much about the truck scene. We're gonna get a little human here. If you could only choose one food to eat for the rest of your life, every day, every meal, what would it be? I don't know about food, but I know about like. You ever heard of Genghis Grill? Yeah. It's like Mongolian food. Yeah. I love Mongolian. Food. Really? Yeah, I do. I all right, do. there you go, Mongolian food. All right, so tell us a little bit about SMG, what it's about, and how you got started. So, uh, I started actually construction with the family business, and I, I've, I've, been, I've been doing this since since I got a, 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 a license. Right. As soon as I got my license, I started doing builds, and I've, I've gone to this show probably for the last eight years, six years, somewhere around there. Sure. And uh, I was like, man, I need to try to turn this into a business. And because I'm spending all this money traveling and going right. shows and marketing for companies, I'm like, let's try to turn this into a business. And I knew some people that already marketed and stuff like that. So I was like, I'm gonna try and get my my feet wet and see how I like it. So yeah. I did a couple builds for SEMA. Um, I think it was 2017 or 2018. And uh, I was like, man, I like this. Right. I like it. And uh, construction just it's tough working for a family business. So I was like, man, let me try to figure out how I can do this full time, Right. full time. So 2018, um, I did probably about 27 builds, 30 builds for SEMA. And I got on my flight back and I was like, I think I can turn this full time. So I called some companies up when I got back and I said, hey, what if we market builds for not just SEMA, we build them for LST, we build them for Orange Beach Invasion, we build them for Lift the Truck Nationals. And every one of them was like, let's do it. Like, dang, I love that idea. So I got back from uh, SEMA 2019 and I, I said, let's do it full time. Sure. Stopped the construction, started, do, started immediately working on builds for LST and I've been doing it since. That's awesome. Love it. That's crazy. That's actually funny because I used to, uh, I laid concrete for like four years before I joined Custom Offset. Really? So like I lived that construction life and like waking up in the morning, it's not your love, it's not your passion, it's not what you want to do for the rest of your yeah. life. So then to see you actually be able to, um, you know, get into your dream, your passion, I can definitely relate to that. It's Everybody super cool. doesn't realize how, how much goes into it. I'm always on my phone and stuff like that, but I did it for the most part because I get to wake up when I want to. Right. I get to go wherever I want to, travel, everything's through my phone. And the biggest thing is I get to watch my daughter grow up every step of the way. Right. So that was my biggest thing. Yeah, absolutely. Super cool. All right, let's kick it back a little bit. You obviously talked about all the vehicles that you have. They're like all Fords other than the Cadillac. Yes. Why Ford? Why not Chevy? Why not Ram? I think it come from my father. Um, he was into the Chevys and stuff like that. And um, he got a Dodge. Um, I was probably six years old. He got a Dodge and it stayed in the shop more than he drove it. Oh no. He, he sold it um, and traded it in for an 01 Platinum 7.3, which probably people have seen me driving around. It was mm. my work truck, and uh, which nobody knew Platinums were even existed then. So right. it was a 2001, only year they made it. And uh, um, that's what sold me on it, on just Ford, because we never had a problem with since then. And like I said, it, it come from my father. 
having a Dodge that stayed in the shop more, I needed something that I could drive, and I, I guess Ford is it, other than right. everybody says found on road dead, but yeah. I have never had an issue. Absolutely. Ever, no issue with Ford, so um, if I had to go with a second choice, it would probably be Dodge, um, just because I don't like independent front suspensions yeah. on uh, Chevys, unless yeah. you're That's, like dune riding hey, or something man. like that. That's good on the travel. Part. Don't attack me, all right? Don't Not attack, attack me. You're, I'm, about get, to, you're about to go to a Super Duty. I'm gonna get ready, yeah, absolutely. All right, if you had to choose between Bud Light and Bush Light, which one would you choose and why? Dos Equis, and so neither. <laughs> um, I'm obviously close to Mexico, so yeah. uh, that's my choice of beer. So um, my wife's from Florida. The further I get away from Texas, it's hard to find. Yeah. Um, and I'm a Dos Equis guy. So awesome. Neither of those Dos Equis. Well, when you get to Florida, you got to scoop up some Yingling. Okay. That's my favorite okay. when I'm down south. So. Alrighty, so what is it with the OBSs? Obviously, you have a lot of history around the OBSs. I've seen, you know, your love for the OBS on the internet. What is it? What does it for you? Uh, I've always loved them, just the look of them. Um, 95, uh, I purchased my first 95 to do for SEMA in 2016. And, man, ever since then, it's just the 7.3 sound. Um, I, I actually enjoy pulling up to a, a fast food restaurant or a fast food place and having to turn off the engine because they can't hear you. Yeah. Um, it's just, man, it's like a time machine in general. So when you're driving them around, you just go back to your, your back in the mid '90s, late '90s, right, right. around an old body stock Ford. Yeah. Um, I, it just, I, I love new trucks, but it's just something. I got a brand new 2021 450 Limited, massage seats, heated and cool seats. And I wake up and I'd rather jump in my old body style Ford that I, I just got yeah. that red dually and I'd yeah. rather jump in there over driving the new truck. It's just something about them. I love them. Sure. Awesome. What is the next build on the plate? So obviously you've mentioned it a couple times in this. What's the big, what's the next build that you're focusing on the most? Personal? Yep. Um, so I have, we we finished this one up uh, for the most part. We're going to take this one to SEMA too. Um, I have a the 2021 450. Um, we're putting a lift on that. Uh, kind of have it matching everything. The new sure. theme this year is black and red. So everything's going black and red. So my personal one, the Dually 450, and then I'm working on that 77 uh, F250 that we're putting a 12 valve in, okay. uh, Cummins and putting twins on it, and uh, that's getting built in Florida right now. So um, I actually have a matching trailer. You might have seen the rendering I posted it. Um, so we're working on those for SEMA this year. Awesome, that's crazy. All right, last question. What build do you miss the most that you did and why? That you wish you could just have back? The Joker. Um, because I think Winston just kind of helped out with the whole situation, but everybody just back then, I mean, having a, a, a full air ride truck that went up 22 inches and this was before 42s were around. So 40s were the biggest tire we can get on there. And I had 1550s on there, which they were so tight yeah. in the rear. And um, I think just the overall hype that that truck got, um, obviously I was really big into doing the theme builds and stuff like that. Yep. So obviously Vendetta, the Joker, um, people might not remember the um, the white one I had, but it was White Lion. Um, I'm, I'm big into doing theme builds. Uh, that was my biggest attention theme build that I've done. And uh, through that whole situation with Winston, it just got the most attention and stuff like that. So if I could have it back or maybe maybe rebuild another recreate. one of these, recreate just like we did with uh, the Flower Stroke Vendetta, um, I'd do it just because um, I think that grabbed a lot of people's attention and that's what um, I found out a lot of people picked up on me after that whole situation right. and uh, walking around places and people were like, man, you're the guy that had and sold that truck to that 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 one guy. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah. So just the attention that overall truck brought and just being a, a massive truck, it just, uh, um, it, it grabbed attention and that's what you want when you when you build a vehicle, you want it to grab attention. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, remember, I remember it and even to this day you still hear about the Joker build and it's definitely put you on the map and it's one of those iconic builds that will go with you for yeah. the rest of your life so super cool all right well cj thank you so much for stopping by man yes, appreciate sir. it appreciate you coming uh, down to texas absolutely it's 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 enjoy hot enjoy the weather good. for yeah. now yeah yeah you're gonna go back to snow and ice and i think it's warming up have, yeah can have all yeah. that i think we it's warming up it. we don't want it anymore i think it's warming up it's like 35 degrees back yeah. home now free so. trial of antarctica yeah. no more yeah no yeah more. so thank you once again if you guys need wheels tires suspension accessories customoffsets.com we'll see you guys on the next one